and welcome to another lesson on how to work with the Arc Development Kit. Today we're going to learn on how to add a terrain and set its right properties to it. So without further ado, let's get started. In your modes tab you're gonna head over towards landscape. As soon as you click it you will see a green grid pop up. This is how large your uh, landscape is going to be. At the material you want to make sure that you have matte underscore the island with masks underscore instance. So once you got that going, you can change your section size. That's the amount of quads within each uh, square. You can change your sections per component, the number of components, which is basically how large your map is going to be, and the overall resolution. I would not mess with, uh, with that too much. I would just change these settings because as you can see, the overall resolution automatically scales with that. So once you've got this set up, you can hit on create. You now see that we are uh, left over with a black world. So what we're first going to do is we're going to paint it in one texture. You're going to head over towards paint. We have a texture selected, so when you want to start, you want to hit click on you're going to click on the landscape, but it's going to give you this message. It will say that you have to assign a layer to your texture before you can start painting. So in order to do that, you're just going to click on the you're just gonna click on the grass and you're gonna see these landscape layers. Make sure you take the landscape layers that are set to the path game, primal earth, environment, landscape. So f for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just gonna select three here. Once I start painting now you'll see that all my beautiful grass texture is appearing. The only thing that doesn't look too good are those green or are those uh, black lines that are appearing uh, in between our texture. In order to fix this we're going to change some settings of the uh, landscape itself. In order to do this we're going to go back to the placement mode then select our landscape and now at the details tab we're going to change the max level of detail level to 4. We're going to change the static lighting level of detail on 2. Turn off cast static shadow um, you're gonna uh, want to select the landscape whole material and you're going to search for mat underscore the island with masks underscore whole underscore instance select that and you're good to go now we're gonna go over towards collision change that to ground you're gonna need to do this because otherwise you cannot add foliage the foliage will not recognize that this is your, gonna be your landscape and it will just fall through the ground Last but not least, we're going to add a tag. So you just click on add an element and just name it landscape. Once you've done that, you're good to go. You can start painting again and you can change the, uh, you can change or you can sculpt the landscape. The, the layers actually blend in. So as soon as I start painting, you will slowly but steadily see that the other texture is blending in. You can change the strength of your tool and the brush, brush size over here. Also, you can change certain uh, op or certain brushes over here. Same goes for the sculpting. You can take smooth, flatten, ramp, and a lot of other stuff that you can mess around with. These actually cause you to uh, modify the terrain. Uh, painting is just a texturing. Make sure that once you or when you are creating your terrain that you also keep the ocean in mind because really often you want to create a big terrain but at the end you did not keep your ocean in mind and your terrain is going to be too small so make sure you do not forget that um, once we've done this we're going to add a dirt plane what this is is just a gigantic uh, yeah, mesh which is going to be just below our landscape. This is to um, make sure the player cannot look outside of the map. So how we're going to do this, you're going to select the game folder here in your content browser and you're going to search for the folder dirt underscore plane and you can see dirt plane no hole. Drag that into your map and once you've got that going I'm actually going to set the location to zero 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 um, you want to change some settings on that. You want to change the axe rotation to minus 180. You'll see it will jump to 179. 
with a lot of nines behind it, but that's fine. Um, you're gonna change this, its scale. You want to set that to 70,000 and another 70,000. And now you can see we've got a gigantic ass plane underneath our map. You can drag it up a little bit and as you can see now, if we would have an ocean over here, it would blend in nicely and we could never see outside of our map. That's basically what the whole dirt plane does. Another option you want to change on the uh, dirt plane is that you should turn off the cast shadow option. That is basically it um, for this yeah, lesson on how to create terrains. I'm quickly going to show you guys on how to create a landscape through a height map. Um, so I'm quickly going to delete this All landscape. Right. So we're, I'm going to show you guys on how to edit terrain through a height map. In order to do this, you're going to head over to landscape and instead of being on create new, you're gonna hit on import from file. The height map file is a 2D image that is going to um, be a grayscale image uh, where white is the highest point and black is the lowest point. You can there pretty much um, draw out the curves or, or the shape of your map as you want that and then import that through through a file so you don't have to do that in the engine itself and mess around with the sculpting for hours and hours while you can create a height map within 10 minutes. So I'm quickly going to select this one. Um, if you did not put it to uh, a grayscale image it might sometimes bug out and as you can see here it already kind of changes my terrain you can see that these mountains are gigantic this is because my uh, the difference between my colors is really much on this image here you can see that the colors are a lot less dim or a lot less there's a lot less contrast and if I click that you'll see my terrain will also be less affected so I'm quickly gonna hit on import so you guys can see how that looks also quickly going to paint a little bit over it uh, not sure if that was a smart idea alright as you guys can see my landscape now already has some curves and it has already been sculpted partially here is the ocean as you can see this was the darkest part of my map and thus it is fully uh, on the ground and then it all of a sudden like skyrockets into into the air but that is basically on how to add a height map to your landscape and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video learned something from it and if you have any questions you can ask them in the comment section and I will respond to it as soon as possible